Hey guys, this message is going to be for Taurus. Uh, for everybody who is new, my name is Corinne, aka Corinne's Fire and Ice. This reading will be for the rest of January. What's coming up, what already has. Then we're going to get some clarifications too of what you. Uh, can maybe uh, work on to get you better on your path. Let's see what's coming up here for Taurus. Uh, turn your notifications on so you know when I do readings. Like and subscribe, please. Looks like this is a family situation. You are moving away from it or about to move away from it. Looks like the person was very selfish or maybe it's a bunch of family members. You're trying to avoid a bigger situation coming. By being silent here. There definitely was an imbalance between work and family commitments. Need to release. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So this message is coming out here. Let's see. You are moving away from a family situation. Maybe it's a marriage. Uh, could be also, you know, siblings, mother, father. But um, you're trying to avoid more conflict and stuff through silence. Maybe you're waiting for them to... <clears throat> you are, or you were waiting for them to... You know, say something to you that they cared. But it just never happened. You know, maybe um, it's not even just like that they cared, um, that they, I want to say, loved you. But, um, well, that's what's coming up here. But you're severing ties with them. Yeah, you're putting all your, your energy and everything into work. I'm trying not to focus anymore on that situation for sure. You know, you feel like you've been abandoning your dreams. You're just kind of work, work, work. You're becoming bitter and covering up the hurts. 
Yeah, that de declaration of love just never came. Could have been because of some addiction problems that they've had. Feeling way down here because of that situation. Yeah. Emotionally aloof or empty. Hmm. Just feel like you lost. Lost your heart there. Let's get some clarifications. <clears throat> you know. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Not getting any closure from the situation either. This could be, like I said, a love uh, situation, you know, between a spouse or even, uh, you know, family matters. Yeah, you're just uh, moving forward, but uh, it seems not to be in the healthiest manner. Just, you know, doing, just taking, uh, all your, putting all your time and effort into work and stuff, and you're just not facing what what happened. Yeah, you really have to, you know, do some healing uh, so you can, you know, your heart can be full again. Yeah, there's, there's something new coming in. Help you move on. Could be another love interest. You have to keep the hope and everything. You know, you got to give up all that. <clears throat> Can't talk today. You got to give up all that bickering and conflicts. Yeah, you're dwelling too much into that. The past, you know, you have to try to find find a way to move forward but all these bad memories and everything has got you feeling like really out of place and everything else you're withdrawing too much again you're just doing too much work just doing all this work just trying to avoid thinking about it there's just too many un unresolved conflicts with this but yeah you can't give up <clears throat> can't give up try to avoid some of them conflicts and uh yeah because there's new arrows of love coming in for sure there's another love interest or if this is not about love and this is about family and stuff you know uh again maybe there's a healthier way to process things so you can move forward here different things gonna come into your life to get your mind you know back on track here um You know, seek out your family, friends. Attract helpful people is what it's saying here. So, yeah, maybe go to them for some, you know, advice, some support in this situation. Yeah, it looks like there was some addiction or something going on there. <clears throat> Yeah, failed relationship. But yeah, good things are coming. So, gotta count your blessings. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Good's coming in. So, but you have to heal from that last situation, whatever it was. Whatever it was, yeah. Good things are coming. Some more clarity, understanding is coming in. So you have that kind of closure, got happiness coming in. Again, this could be a new uh, love interest coming in, a new, <clears throat> new situation to keep your mind on, you know, the right track. Yeah, the wheel's turning, so <clears throat> yeah, somebody's going to help you through this for sure. Somebody is for sure going to help you through this. Yeah, 
You don't have to be confused about this situation or anything. You know, your feelings are valid and everything, but you have to you have to move forward. <clears throat> you know, everything happens for a reason. So if you got pulled out of this relationship or uh, this family situation, you know, other doors will open for you. It's just making room for other people that need to be in your life. Got to keep the faith with this. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely good coming, though. Definitely good coming. Yeah. Somebody's going to help you. Somebody's going to give you some uh, either loving advice or, you know, get your mind, uh, help you heal. Let's see. Let me pull some other cards here. See what else you might need to work on. Keep you focused. You know, with all good things, you know, or with all, with, with all bad things, I should say, you know, there's, you know, there's good after it. Try to stay positive. Try to heal. Raise or promotion. See? Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So even though you're going through this bad time, you know, all this work that you're putting in somewhere is it's going to definitely pay off. Clean energy food. When you fuel, you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. So you're putting all this focus in work and everything, and that's that's great. But of course, don't forget to rest and eat and, you know, try to try to be stay healthy so you can focus and get your mind right. Bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limit, lim limitless vastness. So yes, take some time for yourself. Clear your mind. Because good things are around the corner. Your seeds are getting sown. So just try to keep that healthy mindset. That is the reading for you. All right, guys. I will see you guys soon.